team I want to talk about next is the St. Louis Battlehawks. Oh! Battlehawks are interesting to me based solely on the quarterback room. You got Nick Fitzgerald out of Michigan. Oh, Jesus Christ, don't say that. You got Nick Fitzgerald out of Mississippi State. You got Jordan Tamu or Tamu or Tamu. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm just going to be up front with it. Out of Ole Miss. Tamu was named the starter. Uh, but Fitzgerald, we all know he can run from his Mississippi State days. Head coach Jonathan Hayes hopes to continue the Iowa tight end tradition of just being good um, by hopefully bringing the St. Louis Battlehawks into the championship. This coaching staff has a lot of Iowa. Like Jonathan Hayes, Chuck Long. I kind of feel like this is just Iowa in the coaching staff. Oh! Uh, the big story, of course, is going to be the quarterback room, but there's a couple interesting um, people we got here at wide receiver. You got DeMornay Pearson L, formerly from Nebraska. The dude was a stud for the Cornhuskers up until an injury. He just hasn't really looked the same since. He had a brief stint in the NFL, didn't quite make it. He looked great last year for the Salt Lake Stallions uh, in the AAF. Dude was actually kind of balling out. To go with him in the receivers, you got Brandon Riley, also out of Nebraska, so you have some good chemistry there. Also on offense, you got Leonard Tillery at running back. You got Matt Jones. This is actually a pretty good offense. If Tomu can like bring back some energy of that old Ole Miss like swagger, watch out for this team. For the Battlehawks defense, you got a couple really good pieces here. You've got Harold Jones Cordy. Um, Cordy showed flashes in the NFL for the Cardinals and Bears, but he just never really broke through. He wasn't very consistent from my recollection. Um, but I mean, take that with a grain of salt. I'm like open here <laughs> he had really good moments and if he can like be as good as his best moments this should be a pretty good linebacking core because you also have terrence garvin garvin was a beast a beast let me tell you in the aaf dude was like killing there he had flashes of like nfl speed and just Honestly, like before I did research on him, I wasn't super high on the Battle Hawks, but after looking into it, this offense has the potential to be surprisingly good if Tamu and Fitzgerald, like, they should work Fitzgerald in somehow. The dude's got killer legs and he's just a good athlete. You've got good wide receivers, you got pretty good running backs, you've got a pretty good looking defense overall. I like the Battle Hawks, let me tell you. They're gonna be a fun team to watch, especially with that, like, chemistry thing going on. So. St. Louis Battlehawks. Mark them on the count.